Okay, so today I'm going to try and make a dress. Um, shouldn't be too difficult. It is a jiffy dress. By Simplicif, it's, well the date on it is 1968, so not, well, I think the size, it might work, <laughs> it's a miss, and it's a size 14 which is a bust, 36, I'm 34, but I think it will work just fine because the fabric I'm going to use, I've cut out pieces already, um, is this. Uh, fabric from a bed a duvet cover and it's quite thin so I'm going to use the back which is this seagull printed fabric so that will be lined on the inside so I have put together the uh, lining because I wanted to see if it would fit and it seems to be okay so and it, they're, it, they're both quite thin so it shouldn't bulk out too much what I'm going to do is now I'm going to make the outside dress the same and I'm going to attach the tops of the dresses together in the original pattern you use a facing but obviously I don't need to do that because I'm going to be lining it so I'm just going to attach the top here and then add the straps. Do I add the straps first? I might add the straps first so that they're hidden inside the lining. And then I just need to add a zip. Easy. So there's a few, quite a few darts to do. The darts seem to be sitting in the right place when I try it on. So that's all good. So there's two in the back and four on the front. Uh, yeah, so I'll pop a little clip in of me doing the front darts. No, I think it's that. Well, the darts in the lining anyway. One of them, I can't remember which one it was. So you can see that now. And now I'm going to go in and do exactly the same construction to the outer pieces and then we will sew them together and then hem it and add a zip. I don't have a zip yet but it should all be finished by the zip today.
front is all, or the outside is all sewn together, and the body is through. And I have added, I forgot to say, that I was going to add patch pockets. So there we go, that's all done. I've hemmed both skirts. So now all that remains is to sew the inside to the outside, then add the straps and add the zip.
so it's finished. Um, I really like it. It's very comfy. Uh, I don't think I've got any issues with it, to be honest. It fits really nice. Um, yeah, it feels a tiny bit loose, maybe around the back, but I feel like maybe I could live with it, it makes it a bit more comfortable I suppose, I suppose I'm used to just having, it's like I can't feel the dress on my back, which is nice, it just feels a bit weird because normally you can feel it going that way, I can feel it on the front, and it feels like I'm not wearing anything on the back, <laughs> it's just weird, um, yeah, so <clears throat> I just wanted to say as well, um, if you haven't made any of your own clothes yet, um, you should do it. Uh, I wore my walkaway dress, this one, for the first time the other day out in public and a lady came over and she said, oh my gosh, I love your dress. She was an older lady, she said that your dress is really nice. Um, is it from Blue Banana or Void? Void is a, an independent um, alternative clothing store in Nottingham. And I said, no, I made it. And she was, she couldn't believe it. She was blown away. Uh, so the feeling that you get when someone turns around and says, it looks like it's from a shop, you know, which shop is it from? I really like it. And you can say, well, I made it. <laughs> it's fantastic. So... I would highly suggest you give it a go. So yeah, I will definitely be wearing this dress on holidays. Um, I've worn things now that I made. Um, so I've only just recently got into like making everyday clothing. <clears throat> I have made costumes in the past, like Halloween costumes, but I've just recently started making clothing and been able to wear it out and about is really nice and because I'm using these recycled materials um, I made a pair of shorts actually out of uh, like new material from Hobbycraft um, and they look great and I love wearing them but they were very uh, stiff and they did actually irritate me a little bit on the seam but when I wear things that I've made from, you know, bedding, I suppose you just buy softer material, but like these recycled bedding items, they're worn in, so they're a lot softer, and um, they're very breezy, and yeah, so when I wore the walkway dress, it was a really hot day, really hot. But because I was wearing that, and it was a nice light fabric, and it breathes nice and easily. I felt so comfortable. So I will be wearing that dress again, definitely. I do need to straighten the hem on the inside part still. Uh, I've, I've adjusted the button loop on the back. If you need to watch the video um, to see what I'm talking about, I'll re I do a little reveal at the end um, and talk about this. But yeah, I have adjusted the button and it still hangs ever so slightly to one side so I do need to rehem it but I need someone's help with that because I don't have dress form but yeah so yeah I don't have dress form I just I use patterns um just go for it try it start out with something easy like I say this this actually cost me £4.50 for the material and I have probably enough to make another dress in this style Maybe a top, although I will say there was a stain <laughs> that I've had to cut around. I did have a stain in the stitch fabric that I used to make the skirt when I managed to get that out. Stains are something that you might have to deal with if you're buying second hand fabric from a charity shop. Um, I know that make me, might make people cringe a little bit but at the end of the day I wash these fabrics several times. If you can't get the stain out, just cut around it. It's probably just chocolate or like 
and one of them looked like it had like ice pour, um, kids ice lolly all over it you know kids spill a lot so you know they probably shouldn't be eating the bedding but you know kids do these kind of things don't they anyway I'm rambling now so yeah give it a go go, go and get I mean even if you just use that as like a mock up or to see if you can do it and then you go out and buy more fabric um try and find somewhere that sells dead stock fabric maybe which is new fabric but no longer being used in factories um i haven't found anywhere like that around here so i am still looking if anyone knows anyway in either nottingham or birmingham because i go to birmingham a lot um or anywhere near <laughs> let me know because you know i would love to buy some dead stock fabric uh just you know Reduce, reuse, recycle, we need to stop feeding the fast fashion industry. And what better way to make your own clothes? Clothes that you can alter to make fit as well. I have shortened the straps on this. Um, I tried it on and the straps were a little bit too long so I just shortened them. And now they fit fine. So everybody's body shape is different. Um, and I was very grateful to Charlie over the, the stitchery, she did a video the other day and she actually showed a sewing pattern um, I'm pretty sure it was her yeah. where she kind of highlighted on the sewing pattern her measurements and I thought it was just me like one well, measurement will be here, bust, hips, waist and you're like oh which one do I go for so I tend to just go for the biggest one and before you do like final se fine sewing, make sure you try everything on. Like with this dress, I was I kept trying it up against me to see if the darts were in the right place, things like that. Uh, and you can like if you're doing a lining, make the lining first, so that you can try it on. And then if that's wrong or needs adjusting, then you know what just adjustments to make for your outer piece. So yeah. Um, Look, I've got pockets, functional pockets as well. I believe I will be able to fit my phone in there. Yep, perfect. This is going to be a brilliant dress to take on holiday with me, wear on the beach or around the campsite or caravan site, wherever. Or if I was, oh, I could even wear it abroad, I suppose, but. <laughs> whenever that happens um, yeah so I'm going to stop rambling now thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it inspires you to try sewing um, if you haven't made the leap to making garments for yourself just do it <laughs> uh, you know there's great resources down there like the sewing bee websites and things like that you can buy printable patterns from Pinterest you can go to the charity shop that pattern was from a charity shop I probably paid like a pound for the pattern so all in all this dress cost me like £5.50 I suppose um, less than that if you take out this, the fabric that I didn't use so yeah I hope you enjoyed and I will see you again soon